Good morning. Thank you to all the attendees. Thank you to Mr. Paolo Cruz on behalf of the organization. And thank you to the organizers for the kindly attention. And of course to Professoressa Trovalucci who managed this link between Italy and Portugal to this interesting conference. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this presentation starts with a question. So if topology optimization may be a design tool and after the presentation I will be I will happy if I can get some feedback for you from you so the, the this is essentially the result of a master science thesis developed in 2007 and the research stems from the requirement to explore the capability of structural optimization in the architectural field is basically a technological transfer from the mechanical principle, mechanical engineering principle to architecture. So in the last decades, special tailoring of software has been tried out mainly to application fields such as aeronautics, but without integrating the aesthetic and structural aspect of the design. Looking at the picture, you can see a cover of 2,200 square meters that uh, represent the project of my thesis. To realize this structure, I use the topology optimization, that is a special kind of structural optimization. So we have essentially two steps. The first step is the use of the topology optimization. The second step will be uh, the creation of a lattice structure. And on the lattice structure made by uh, steel frames, I, uh, I perform an another optimization, a, a size optimization to reduce the weight of the structure. So we have a short introduction to the problem of the relationship between structure and form in architecture. I'll, I'll be very quickly, I promise. Uh, for example, uh, there is an interesting integration between natural uh, organic forms and structural aspects. Uh, in nature, for example, these concepts are definitely inseparable, so they are fused together. For example, um, uh, if you see at this, on this tree, the, the, main, the main wind direction of the wind is uh, it's white sand by the tree putting material on the basement. And this conformation is typical about the, regarding the natural, the natural forms. And for example, uh, a lot of architects will try to uh, create structure that looks similar to, to tree, for example, this is the, the airport of Stuttgart in the picture. And for, for example, the tree is composed by, the trunk of the tree is composed from different branches and they could be compared to climbed road. And the, exactly the same, the architect who work at the airport try to uh, comes out with a structure, a light structure that mimic, mimic uh, natural forms. An interesting example is represented by the hack. So it represents a particular kind of optimization. So in a uh, thickness of 10 millimeter is sufficient to withstand important load if the material is placed to, to equilibrate ex external actions. Of course, if we, we talk about the only compression surface and moderate traction stresses. And so this is a, it's compared with uh, shell structures. Okay. Another interesting example is rep represented by shellfish. So the corrugated surface is not uh, an aesthetic uh, consideration, but uh, it's necessary for the stiffness about the shellfish. And uh, similar, similar principles is applied in architecture to be, uh, uh, for example, uh, corrugated ivory, or uh, in the past to create spectacular walls in the Gothic, uh, in the Gothic area. Uh, the most important example is represented by the bone. So this is a very important example for optimization because the bone and the human body is the only uh, organism that is able to put material in the structure and carve material in the structure. So for example, when astronauts go in the space and come back, the bones are uh, 
the bone less energy, less power, because the muscle don't compress the bones, and so the body don't put calcium in the in the bones. This is the same uh, activities in pregnant woman. The the calcium is moved from the bones to produce milk, and this particular capability to put material and curve material that is unique in the organic in the life uh, forms. And now modern softwares are able to simulate this particular behavior. So put material and remove material is, is essentially basically is the principle of the structural optimization. So different architects try to work in the, uh, um, in the field of structural optimization without software, uh, without modern te techniques. The remarkable, remarkable vision is uh, represented by the works of Anthony Gaudi in Barcelona. And uh, you can see in the picture, and this picture is the, the church that Gaudi built before, the Sagrada Familia. And this is a, um, an example of topology of limitation applied in, uh, to simulate this behavior. So in, uh, in some sense, nature can give lessons to the architects again. And the mathematics uh, that is behind this, this work is represented by the topology optimization. So uh, generally the, the, we have to solve a problem. So we have to minimize a function. And this function is called compliance. To, use, to solve this function we use uh, finite element procedures, FEM, and uh, the the procedure that you have to use is very simple. So the design, have to choose a design space. So the area when to, where you want to work. But then you have to, def, the, you have to define the position of the zone in which the structure generated has to interact with soil or other structures and impose the suitable restraints. Third point is to define the design action. And uh, the third is to fix the volume constraints. The topology optimization pro problem is posed in the form that you can see in the picture, so essentially minim minimize a function. 